in history, there was a people who wandered through scorching deserts, who sang songs of exile by the rivers of Babylon, who built a stone temple in Jerusalem only to see it reduced to ashes. They carried with them not only handwritten scrolls and religious traditions, but also an invisible heritage etched deep within their very blood. This is the story of the Jewish people. For centuries, the origins and identity of the Jewish people have been preserved and passed down through the Hebrew, Bible religious traditions, and ancient historical records. However, advances in modern science, particularly in genetics, have opened a new doorway that allows us to understand this story more clearly. DNA functions like a time machine encoded within every cell carrying traces that span millennia. It confirms many aspects of Jewish tradition while also adding details that were previously unknown to us. Research on the Jewish people has become a prime example of the complex interplay between biology and culture, as factors such as religion, marriage customs, migrations, and even political upheavals have left profound imprints on the genetic structure of a people. Around 4,000 years ago in the land of Canaan, located between Egypt and Mesopotamia, a group of Semitic-speaking people began to shape a distinct identity. According to the Bible, this journey is associated with Abraham, who left the city of Ur in Mesopotamia for Canaan after hearing the call of God. The covenant between Abraham and God is considered the foundation of Judaism and a pivotal milestone in the formation of Jewish identity. His son Isaac and grandson Jacob, later known as Israel, carried on this promise. Jacob had 12 sons, and they became the patriarchs of the 12 tribes of Israel. From this point, a community bound by kinship, faith, and tradition gradually emerged. Modern archaeological and genetic studies support this narrative. Ancient DNA analysis from remains dated to around 3,000 years ago found in Israel and Jordan reveals significant similarities with today's Jewish communities. On the Y chromosome, haplogroups J1 and J2 common in the Levant region appear at high frequencies. On the maternal line, mitochondrial DNA belonging to haplogroups H, K, T, and U is also frequently found in the Middle East and Mediterranean. This demonstrates a remarkable genetic continuity from ancient Israel to modern Jewish populations despite historical upheavals. Archaeological discoveries in the 20th and 21st centuries have played a crucial role in reconstructing Jewish history. In the City of David area of Jerusalem, layers of remains from the First and Second Temple periods provide direct evidence of the existence of a developed and organized ancient Israelite community. In addition, inscriptions, seals, and pottery artifacts found in Samaria. Lachish and Megiddo reveal close connections between the Israelites and neighboring civilizations such as Phoenicia and Egypt. Particularly, the Dead Sea Scrolls discovered in Qumran in the mid-20th century have provided invaluable insights into the religious and legal life of Jewish communities around the 2nd century BCE to the 1st century CE, affirming the diversity and continuity of Jewish identity. The Jewish story is also tied to Egypt, where the descendants of Jacob once settled during a time of famine. At first, they were welcomed thanks to Joseph's position in the royal court, but later they were turned into slaves under the pharaohs. The Exodus tradition recounts that Moses led his people out of Egypt across the Red Sea and received the Ten Commandments on Mount Sinai. Although religious in tone, this memory reflects the formation of a collective identity and a shared moral code, laying the foundation for the long-term survival of the Jewish people. Around the first millennium BCE, the Israelites established a kingdom centered in Jerusalem. King David united the tribes and chose Jerusalem as the capital, while his son Solomon built the first temple, the ultimate symbol of religious and political life. However, after Solomon's death, the kingdom split into Israel in the north and Judah in the south. 
In 722 BCE, Assyria conquered Israel, leading to the disappearance of the ten lost tribes. By 586 BCE, Babylon destroyed Jerusalem and the temple, forcing the people of Judah into exile. From then on, the term Jew derived from Judah came into wider use, marking a turning point in the shaping of national identity. During the Babylonian exile, even without the temple as their religious center, the Jews developed new forms of worship. They focused on studying the Torah and establishing synagogues as centers for community gathering. This was a crucial innovation transforming Judaism from a land-based religion into an identity that could survive anywhere. In 539 BCE, when Cyrus the Great of Persia allowed them to return, a large number of Jews went back to Jerusalem and built the Second Temple. However, after 70 CE, when Rome destroyed this temple, the Jews entered the diaspora, dispersing throughout Europe, North Africa, and the Middle East. This dispersion did not erase Jewish identity, but rather strengthened it. Many communities maintained their own rituals and tended to marry within their group. Although conversion and intermarriage did occur, endogamy became a defining feature contributing to distinctive genetic patterns. Over the centuries, three major branches of the Jewish people emerged, each with distinctive characteristics. Mizrahi Jews lived continuously in the Middle East and North Africa, retaining the closest genetic ties to the ancient Levant. Sephardic Jews lived for centuries in the Iberian Peninsula, blending with Mediterranean and North African elements before being expelled in the late 15th century and dispersing across North Africa, Italy, the Ottoman Empire, and the Netherlands. Meanwhile, Ashkenazi Jews emerged in the Rhine Valley around the 9th to 10th centuries, later spreading into Poland, Lithuania, Ukraine, and Russia. They were the group most strongly affected by founder effects and population bottlenecks, which reduced genetic diversity and increased the frequency of certain genetic variants. An interesting finding is that while Ashkenazi Y chromosomes trace back to the Middle East, their mitochondrial DNA shows influences from European women. This suggests that the Ashkenazi community was formed when Jewish men who migrated married local women who converted and then maintained endogamy over many generations. These characteristics have left clear medical imprints. Ashkenazi Jews have higher frequencies of certain rare genetic disorders such as Tay-Sachs and Gaucher disease. Sephardic Jews have elevated rates of familial Mediterranean fever, while Iranian Jews often exhibit mutations linked to congenital adrenal hyperplasia. These genetic signatures, though initially raising health concerns, enabled 20th century scientists to build genetic databases that later form the foundation of today's DNA testing companies. Beyond the three main branches, there are also many unique Jewish communities. The Beta Israel of Ethiopia maintained Judaism for centuries, with genetics primarily Ethiopian and a small proportion of ancient Middle Eastern origin. The Bene Israel in India have a mixed genetic composition of Indian and Levantine ancestry, reflecting historical trade connections. The Kaifeng Jews of China, descending from Persian merchants during the Song Dynasty, were genetically similar to local populations, yet preserved Jewish rituals until the 19th century. A special case is the Lemba people of South Africa and Zimbabwe, who have oral traditions of Jewish ancestry. These findings show that Jewish identity is both a product of genetics and the result of cultural and religious choice. Some communities preserved Judaism for centuries, even though genetically they were not very different from surrounding populations. This emphasizes that Jewish identity has never been defined solely by biological factors. Today, ancient DNA studies from Israel continue to confirm genetic continuity spanning 2,000-3,000 years. These studies allow direct comparison between ancient and modern genomes, demonstrating that ties to the Levant exist not only in religious memory, but also inscribed in genes. 
At the same time, epigenetics raises the question of whether historical traumas such as persecutions, exiles, or the Holocaust left imprints on gene expression. This is a new research direction linking life sciences with social history at a profound level. From a genetic perspective, recent whole genome studies further clarify the unity within Jewish diversity. A 2020 study published in Nature showed that despite global dispersion, modern Jewish communities still share 40 to 60 percent of their genomes traceable to the ancient Levant, a figure much higher than the averages between European or North African groups. Data from the Cohen Modal Haplotype Project also reveal a distinctive Y DNA marker present across various communities from Ashkenazi Jews to the Lemba in South Africa, supporting the hypothesis of a shared priestly origin. Moreover, mtDNA research on Ashkenazi Jews shows that four maternal lineages account for over 40% of the entire population, a clear sign of the bottleneck effect and formation from a small founder group. These details demonstrate that genetics not only confirms a common origin but also records major demographic events throughout Jewish history. It is important to emphasize that genetics cannot define the entirety of Jewish identity. A person may carry characteristic genetic markers, but not practice Judaism. And conversely, there are communities deeply tied to Judaism whose genetics are highly mixed. Jewish identity is formed from the intersection of biology, culture, religion, language, and collective memory. This is why, despite millennia of migrations and upheavals, the Jewish people have maintained continuity as a unique nation. Looking back at the entire trajectory, the story of the Jewish people is a testament to the connection between science and history. Genetically, they reveal an astonishing continuity from ancient Israel to the present. Culturally, they demonstrate extraordinary adaptability, disappearing in one place but re-emerging in another, always preserving faith and community. Genetic studies have confirmed what Jewish tradition long asserted wherever they go, Jews carry their heritage within their very cells. Yet, beyond this, identity is nurtured by religion law and shared memory factors that no gene can replace. This interweaving makes the Jewish story one of the most striking examples of human resilience and adaptability. Genetics may reveal the biological traces, but to fully understand, we must also consider spirit and culture. The Jewish people, one of the world's oldest civilizations, are therefore not only a community of genetic continuity, but also a nation of memory, faith, and enduring resilience.